Hi, welcome to trailer time. I was about to say tool time. <laughs> Here on August 24th, 2021. I'm your host, Tim the Tool Man Taylor. And somewhere is uh, Ollie Borland. I think he's upstairs. He might come back downstairs soon. Anyways, we got some trailers to watch. Let's jump into them. The first one, uh, there's a whole bunch of trailers out, uh, courtesy of NVIDIA, as they are out there in force, full force, which is why I put two Fs on force, uh, with RTX coming to a bunch of different games. Uh, here's some footage from Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, courtesy of NVIDIA, with a little bit more RTX. Let's check a look. That was really bright. What is he the god of RTX? What the hell's happening here? Guardians of the galaxy. You misread our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices <laughs> must... He's pretty OP. I had to check. Groot, quill kill. Mm. Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. Could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. But also, we've kind of got a few questions like, you came here seeking truth, rejoice. The matriarch wishes to share it with you. Okay, that is really not cool. What the hell? What do you mean he's not picking up? Come. The matriarch awaits. Holy shit. Holy shit times two. That looked really good. I think I'm going to like that game a lot. I'm just getting the feeling like I think I'm just going to enjoy it a lot. Here is the Dying Light RTX 4K reveal trailer. Now it comes out October, Sarkon. As we wait for the release of Dying Light 2 Stay Human, let's take a look at the game's setting. What you're seeing here is the post-apocalyptic landscape of the city, recreated with the help of the ray tracing technology. Ray tracing makes the game more photorealistic and lets us account for details like the angular size of the sun in the sky. That's why shadows cast by objects in the game are identical to what we see in real life. They're soft when far away, like the crowns of the trees, while appearing sharp and clear when close to the ground. Note the photorealistic details of the tower, and the natural alignment of shadows cast by the great pillars of the defensive palisade. This is the result of applying global illumination and specular reflections. The building on the left reflects sunlight, while the puddle shows us exact and stable reflections of other buildings. All the details of the post-apocalyptic... This just looks like a zombie game to me. ...setting are reflected in the windows and water. The experience is completed by the play of light and shadow on the building's facade. Note the subtle shading created by the ambient occlusion effect, or the reflections in the glass panes that change the, with the movement of good. the camera. Open work structures are a challenge for ray tracing. Thanks to advanced denoisers, the end result is stable, despite the minimum number of rays per pixel. Performance meets fidelity here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Global illumination on the ceiling, specular reflections on the huge matte glass pane and open work structure, combined with shadows and ambient occlusion, that's what makes this space look so realistic. Ray tracing in Dying Light 2 Stay Human 
is not just limited to static objects. Within each frame, calculations are made to account for animations of dynamic objects, such as trees, characters, and moving textiles. We hope you enjoyed this short presentation. We can't wait to share our game with you on December 7th. That looked pretty good. It didn't look good in the beginning. It got better as time went on. Now, what is this? This is a three minute battlefield trailer. I wonder if this has actual new footage in it or what is this? Wait, is in this just the main trailer? We pushed them back, but not far enough. Do not let them regroup. Oh, this is a little different, I think. No? I actually can't tell. Nope, this is the exact trailer that we've already seen. Yep. Not a bad trailer, though. But we've seen it before. Here's that missed trailer. With RTX. Isn't this just the same trailer as well? I feel like they've really missed the mark on these trailers, chat. Don't blame me for that, Jap. Blame Kymix. All right, he's the one that said it. <laughs> Looks like mist. What else do they have here? There's a Chivalry 2 trailer that has... I think all these trailers are already out, though. What is this? Grit? It's 30. I'm not going to watch that. Yeah, everything else that's in here. I don't think we've seen this one. Does this have a 4K thing? 1080p. This is for a game called Synced. They said their technology would change the world. And it did. But not in the way any of us expected it. Oh. Ads are about to play in like five seconds, by the way. Thanks for letting them run. We're fighting back against the nanos. It is kind of framey. about my nan if there's a chance escape hmm. strange v someone's delivering something cuz the dog just lost their shit
Welcome back to trailer time here. Uh, let's jump into the... We'll rewatch this. I'll rewatch a Destiny trailer, sure. If we are to survive the coming storm, the tower and the dreaming city must stand united. We are surrounded. A ring of spears pointing inward from the edges of our system. The Witch Queen is no less dangerous now than she has ever been. We must uncover whatever secrets she knows with the time that we have. Relight the pathways of the Ascendant Plane and guide my people back to me. There is a malevolent force at work in this plane, Guardian. Your knack for violence is needed. They're very good at making trailers. Perhaps with them, I can save us all. Yeah, they're, they're incredible at trailer making. That season is currently live. This was the other big announcement from this morning uh, regarding Destiny. This is their big expansion, The Witch Queen. <clears throat> this is the reveal trailer. I think it's pretty accessible, Bakovic. Truth is a funny thing. Does it live in the world? Or in the mind? Is it constant? Or can it be bent? What are those things supposed to be? Who decides what is true? In this universe of light and dark, there is no greater power. Tell me, little lights. What is your truth now? Are those ghosts? Yes. <clears throat> They're hive ghosts. And these are hive guardians. Again. Another cool trailer. Also, the uh, Gallerhorn is coming back in the Bungie 30th anniversary pack. If that's something you're interested in. If not, you're not interested. Destiny's uh, very much a love or hate game. There's no one that's just like, nah, that's Destiny. It's fuck that game and this stupid bungee developers. <laughs> or this is the greatest game ever. It's great. I'm going to play it every day. No one's really like, man, Destiny's all right. Anyways, here's a trailer from the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. People are, like, actually hyped for this game. If you love 
love peanut butter and jelly. Spaghetti and meatballs. Get ready for the most iconic duo of the century. SpongeBob. And Reptor? All right, time out. What in the flying Dutchman is going on here? <laughs> oh, I see. It's one of those fighting games featuring your favorites from Nickelodeon's most iconic shows. I wonder who else they're gonna call for this Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Can't wait! This is gonna be crazier than Michelangelo's pizza toppings. What a bizarre entity that exists there. It's just weird. It's just weird. Uh, I don't think that's DLC. I, I think those are just characters that they haven't announced yet. That's pretty standard for fighting games these days. Uh, here is a launch trailer for a game that I think we're going to be playing on the channel uh, Friday. This is uh, Aliens Fireteam Elite. This game's scary? I didn't think this... Wait a minute, is this game scary? It's not? Oh, thank God. Oh. I was about to uh, cancel that session <laughs> on Friday. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can play anymore, guys. Uh, this is a little scary, okay? I'm not... Uh... Not super into it <clears throat> you know uh we already covered that i'll delete that we have not covered this though i know this is chat's favorite character in the upcoming fighting game so let's just get to it <laughs> it's miyako arima yeah Why does she look like she just shit her pants or something? Uh, <laughs> oh, Whatever you say. Whatever you say. By the way, uh, once again, do want to remind everyone, Friday is the big balance chat, uh, big balance patch one for Guilty Gear. And uh, it will be a no nerf for May patch. They're not going to nerf May. I've gotten special word from the developers. May is not getting nerfed at all. Uh, and I'm very excited about that being a May main. 
She needs all the buffs she can get. So, tune in on Friday to see what happens. Here's another trailer from Guild Wars 2. Some fishing. And skiffs. You've mined, harvested, and foraged your way through the deadliest terrain. I love now me some skiffs. Kick back and relax. It's kind of quiet. In Guild Wars 2, End of Dragons, you'll learn how to gather a new resource. Fish. Always pack your fishing pole for quiet, contemplative moments wherever you find water. Keep an eye out for fishing holes to hook more impressive catches. Your real adventures begin out on the water. With your personal skill, hey, this actually you doesn't can look bad. straight to the best fishing holes. Or just hang out with up to four friends. Haul your catch back to shore, and chefs can use it to prepare delicious new seafood dishes. Whether you're looking for peace and quiet or valuable resources, Tyria's fish will never be safe from you again. They're getting in on that fishing racket. Not a bad deal to get in on. Not a bad one at all. Sorry, I'm having to sneeze, but I can't. And it just looks like I'm crying. All right, we're good. I don't know what this is. But we're going to watch it. That's my... This is Operation Meg Na. I don't know. What are these subtitles for ants? What is the subtitle 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 for ants? What is we just watched friends called zero hour they don't play that game hopefully not <laughs> here's an announcement trailer for a game called zell I'm good. <coughs> We're good, guys. Let's just keep keep watching the trailer. <coughs> Thumbs up. Ooh. That is not what I expected. Is that the Master Sword? It looks it. The Jebate Sword. out of this junkyard and bam <clears throat> come on there's nothing to turn around 
What the? <gasps> All right. Looked okay. <clears throat> this next trailer. What? The name of this trailer is Spellforce 3 Reforced Announcement Trailer. And then in parenthesis, it says definitely not out of sync version. Oh, they uploaded a new version. Huh. Why wouldn't they just take that one down and re upload it? It's weird. Tender, the cradle of human civilization. What? We know war. It has been at our side for millennia, coming and going with the indifference of the tides. Our most recent sprouted from rebellion. For reasons that seems unknown, dangerous to have that. A mage just open. by the name of Isamo Tahar gathered the noble houses behind him in an attempt to overthrow the crown. Fires burnt towns to ashes. Abominations ravaged the battlefields. Men and women were torn apart with a snap of a finger. That's not good. <clears throat> Only a sacrifice by our queen achieved what none had thought possible. An end to the slaughter. Is that a Dargan? Oh, yeah. You're gonna need a bigger lance. The mage war was over. The crown had won, and a ban on magic was enacted. Now the people. Why do I feel like there it, that this is fucking with me mentally, chat? Because I feel like Geralt is doing the voiceover for the next Witcher game, and it's not. It's it's Spell Force Three Reforced. You know, it's fucking with me. I hate it. I don't like it. I'm getting excited for a game that's not even the game. People once more believe that their suffering has come to an end. They hope. Like, is that his real voice? That's not his real voice? So they literally got him to do... The get fuck that. If I was CDPR, I wouldn't really care because uh, everything's on fire. Never mind. Let's move on. They dream. But the tides don't change. <laughs> Excited for Witcher 4, guys. <clears throat> Question mark. What is Spell Force 3? It's an RTS? Open fire. 
Is it a good RTS? Building complete. I mean, this doesn't look bad. Huh. This is from 2017. So what, are they remaking it or something? <clears throat> like, why? Why? Is that what it, it uh, the reforce thing is? It's a console port. Ah. I see. All right. <clears throat> Here is our final trailer for the day. <clears throat> this is from uh, Team 17. This is a game called Broken Roads. My nan called it the end of time. Dad called it a waste of good beer. Me, I called it another day in bloody paradise. It's been a hundred years, more or less, since society had its last hurrah. We've rebuilt, sometimes better, sometimes worse, with nothing but hard jacker and the sweat off our backs. There's been bloodshed too, of course. Australia's fucked, People man. who will always be willing to kill for what they didn't earn. But that's not most of us. We're the farmers, the brewers, the protectors and the builders, the people. <laughs> I can't tell if this is a really old voiceover, a really old man doing the voiceover, or if it's someone that's like configuring their face to sound like this. But if it really is them configuring their face to sound like this, I really want to see that person's face as they're making this this uh, voiceover. Who keep this great land connected one town at a time. So you survive. You make do. You live with tough choices and you don't look back. Because the next town is 200 kilometers It has to be just an old man. You passed the last refuge three days ago. There's no good or evil, no right or wrong. Only the path you choose to travel down these broken roads. I've pinpointed what that voice is. That that voice is Michael Caine. In about 15 years. That's what that voice is. Yes. My cocaine. The uh, actor from uh, the Batman movies. That's what I'm talking about. I fooled you, chat. We've got four more trailers. And it's time to get to our daily demons. Number 66. In just a second. Number 66. Shin Megami Tensei, yes, they turning demons, etc. Today we will deliver demon beast. Orthrus. This seems oddly specific already. Orthrus. Imaginary giant sword that improves to Greek mythology. Watchdog Tia. He is falling, killed by a single blow. Me. Next time, I will introduce the genie. Please look forward to it.
Number 67. Shin Megami Tensei. Shin Megami Tensei, yesterday turning devil, etc. Today we will deliver the genie. Bishun. What is happening with the capture? Bishu Jude Slimy. <laughs> Indian mythology creator God Gay. Three, I want people from Music the Universe is exhausted. Me too, Universe. Period. Appearing on the ground using an incarnation called me. Next time, I will introduce the Archangel. Please look forward to it. Great. Great. Fantastic. Number 68. Shin Megami Tensei. Yes, day turning devil, etc. Today we will deliver the Archangel. Gabriel, Army 5 tons. Regards. Two to the top of the angel hierarchy, four times angels Yusha. The name means something luxurious. It is said that we announce the entrance to Our Lady among the sword fighters who have a holy black spot. Comma, only WM is a life neutral and ill fated woman. I don't know what to look forward to, chat. But it's time. For Daily Demon, number 69. Shin Megami Tensei, yes, day turning demons, etc. Today, we will deliver a fallen angel... Berispe. Beris. I don't know what. In Asme. Solomon, Solomon is one of the 702 pillars of the genie. I will kill you! <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> is, he, is the video talking to me? What's happening here? <laughs> what is going on? I don't... I, sh are we done? Should we not do these anymore? Was this the final Daily Demon? Is the video tired of my shit? Next time I'll introduce the goddess. Please look forward to it. Guys, I don't... Uh, I mean, that's a threat. That is a threat. I don't know. Like, are we going to do another one tomorrow? Ooh. I don't know. I think we just got threatened. We have to? Man. That got dark. It only took 69 demons. But here we are, you know, here we are. Hmm. Well, tune in tomorrow, I guess, for more trailer time. Maybe I it might not be there. It's hard to say. I really don't know what the future holds, chat.
<clears throat> we'll just have to figure it out soon. I thought that was someone trying to kill me. I'm going to be on edge. <sighs> See you then.